Today I'm up here at the Beulah School. It's Sunday afternoon, so school is out. And I thought this would be a good place to try out the Skydio Beacon and see how that flies. It's a little bit windy, but not as windy as it's been all last week, so hopefully this will work out okay. So the first thing it looks like I've got to do is actually get the beacon connected in the Wi-Fi of the phone so it recognizes it. Now let's see what I've got here. Okay, I'm going to see if this thing will follow me. Well, let's jump forward a couple of days. When I first went out over the weekend to look at the Skydio Beacon, I had no idea how it was going to work. I had never tried it or even connected it to the drone other than to sync them and make sure that they knew each other existed. And that's something I can do in the house. So when I set out to do that, I wasn't real sure how this connected to the drone to fly it, how the phone worked with that system. And that first experience there at the sports field at the school, was really quite positive. I was able to fly it, I was able to do what I set out to do, but I wasn't real sure what else I was able to do with it. And since then, I've taken a little bit closer look at this, and I think I'll get into it in just a little bit more detail for a few minutes here and show you how some of these features work, just in case you're interested. The big thing I've discovered is you have to connect the beacon to the drone, and then your phone connects to the beacon via Wi-Fi. So you have to go into your phone's Wi-Fi setting, find the beacon's Wi-Fi, connect to that, and then all three work together. And you don't have to use the phone. You can use just the beacon and you can fly it and you can get by with that, but you can't see what the drone sees, so you're not sure what you're taking a picture of, and you do lose some functionality that the phone gives you. So I think using all three in a combination is the better way to go, but you don't absolutely have to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly this a little bit more and see if I can show you how all the controls on the beacon actually work. So here's the beacon, and we can power it up. It comes up with the Skydio name, and it should start to sync with the drone because the drone is already turned on. Now the first time you sync this to your cell phone, the password, the beacon's ID and password are on the back here, so you can do that. But I will select this here in my cell phone. I hope you can see all this and it's not too glary. So that should now be connected to the beacon. And I can bring up the Skydio app. So the beacon's ready to fly. The phone still needs to finish its connection. It says waiting for clear launch area. I think I've got it down in some weeds. So that should be better. And you can take off with the phone or you can take off with the, the beacon here. So if I hold this center button down to fly. It's launching.
See if I can point that away from the sun a little bit. It went the wrong way. So right now it's on motion track, which is what I was using at the school. And I can scroll here from motion track to fixed track, and we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Orbit, hover, and steering, which gives me the ability to actually fly with this. So if I do that, we can actually turn the drone and we can fly it. Sorry, the drone footage is gonna look terrible today, but the, the arrow buttons just turn it left and right, and this flies it forward. There is no reverse when using this, so I can't do any kind of reverse. But by using the phone, I can see what the drone sees, and that's the advantage of having both of these together. So let's turn that off and go back to the square button. And then hover just hovers in place and will follow you. So let's see what that does. See if it'll find me. So it has a GPS signal here, and this thing up here says GPS, so it knows where I'm at. So as it hovers, it should follow me. So there are times that that would be nice. You could walk in circles and it's gonna stay in one place. This is orbit, so it should find me. So that's the orbit feature. And let's try the fixed track feature. Now this fixed tracking feature should keep it relatively in this orientation the whole time, which means it's not gonna try and anticipate which way I'm moving, which the active track tries to stay to the front of you or the rear of you, but this will stay in the same orientation more like a compass. So in whichever way I go, it should continue to track me without flying around in circles, which is probably safer depending on where you're, where you're at because that way you can anticipate that power lines are on one side of the road or the other side of the road. So by changing these buttons, you can change where it's flying in relationship to you. We can go back here and change back to the active track. See, there was the orbit feature. Follow beacon, there we go. So these plus and minus buttons just decide what distance it is from you, and it can go out further, or it can come in. And you can use this to land with if you want to. So that tells you it's landing. But I'm gonna let go of that because I'm not watching it right now. So just holding the square button down gets you into landing. So that's the most basic introduction to this beacon. 
I still have a lot to learn. I think probably some of that's not going to transfer very well over to video. I need some sort of a I need some sort of a good background to work with and maybe somebody else that it can follow while I'm messing with it trying to show it to the camera. But hopefully you get the idea and I'm going to get this out and I'm going to use it some more and one of these days we'll see more Skydio drone footage. Matter of fact, there might be just a little bit here at the original ending of the video. So take care and we'll see you for the next video.